do you want to know how we are able to save over two thousand dollars a month two thousand <laughs> over two thousand keep on watching because we're going to share with you what we're doing different in order to save you know that kind of money so um last month we decided that we was going to move into our semi truck and just live in the truck full time we went back home which you know florida is was home for for us so we went we got on the road we was on the road for a month we made that decision when we was on the road that you know what there is no point for us you know mm -hmm. keeping a condo in florida and we're paying all this money for a place that we're not going to be using after i after me quitting my job you know it was just like there is no reason for us to keep that you know condo there if i'm going to be going on the road with seneca you know mm -hmm. all the time so we went back to florida we sold literally every single thing that we had all yeah, of the fair. furniture everything all the furniture we sold the seneca's car we donated a bunch of stuff to you know people from the community and we got rid of every Thing that we had there and you know we kept one car we still have one car in Florida because that's where we you know plan on going eventually so we kept one car we have it in a uh, storage unit and you know that is saving us so much money if now, we don't need it if we don't need it it's gone it's gone and it's that gone. was the mentality we wanted to have a super minimal life we packed two bags one for him or two bags for him two bags for me and that was it that's all we have here in the truck we don't have nothing else I got rid of all of my clothes and shoes and high heel shoes and you know things that I not gonna be wearing out here like why do I need to have not the Louis though not the <laughs> you kept the Louis purses. <laughs> that was the only thing I kept. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, um, you know, we kept like very minimal things. We have a couple uh, tabs with you know some stuff that we kept there, but that, that's it. Like we got rid of everything. We said we're gonna have a very minimal life out here. Only bring what you need. Only bring what you're gonna be using out here. And that that's and that is exactly what we did. You know, that's exactly what we did. Just, you know, get rid of everything. So now, you know, looking back, we're like, oh my God, you know, that's going to save us, you know, over $2,000 every single month that we don't have to worry about, yeah, you know. It, it was a little over 2000 It was over. With the yeah. utilities. With the utilities, Electricity yeah. bill that we're not utilizing. And, you know, it's just extra food and everything just yeah. that comes along with maintaining a condo. Mm -hmm. Um, or any kind of living space, yeah. we got rid of it. It's yeah. done. Saves us over a little bit over um, two thousand dollars, obviously, which equals like twenty four thousand annually. So <sighs> that's it's a lot of money. Yeah. It's so to save money, that is, is is a big deal. Yeah, it is. It's not for everybody, but no. it's <laughs> probably to. Yeah, it's not for everybody. You know, living in a truck is not for everybody. Um, it works for us. We're fine. We're you know happy to be out here, to be on the road, and um, you know I I have what I need in here. You know, as long as you know we have the truck, we're in the truck, we're together. For us, you know, now home is where the truck is. You know, and if we're together and making you know some money out here, that like that's all we need. We don't need nothing else. Nope. So you know, within trucking, if you want to get ahead of the game and you want to be able to save money, it's all about cutting expenses, cutting unnecessary expenses. I'm not telling you go get rid of the house if you have a family, if you have kids. Like you know, obviously that's not what I'm saying. Get rid of your kids. <laughs> get rid of the house. Get rid of the kids. <laughs> And you're gonna save money by doing that. Uh, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. So I'm just saying, you know, if you're a single person, if it's just, you know, if you're a couple, it's just the two of you, and you know, if you don't need that fancy place and and you know all these fancy things and all that, you try, and your goal is to save money, you know. It doesn't hurt to live in the truck, you know. We don't mm -mm. plan on doing it forever, maybe a year no. or two. We, we'll see. Like, we don't know. Like, we shall see, you know. But, you know, just cutting down on the unnecessary expenses is going to save you so much money at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And we're all about saving, making money, saving money, and investing money. Like, yeah. that is what we want, you know, for our future. Yeah. 
so you know for us having that condo in florida it was just not a priority you know anymore it was a really nice place a really nice location really nice you know neighborhood and all of that we loved it like we love being in mm -hmm. that area and everything but you know it just didn't make sense you know the last two months that we pay rent we was um the first rent that we paid when we was out on the road we was in seattle visiting my family and i had it to you know swipe that car and pay almost two thousand dollars there and i'm like oh my god and we're not going back for a whole month we was going longer than a yeah month. so the second month came yeah. it was the rent was due again we're still <laughs> not in florida i had it to swipe the card again to make another rent payment for something that we was not using so i ended up putting about four thousand a little bit over four thousand dollars on the credit card that we mm -hmm. use you know to pay all of our bills a little bit over four thousand dollars for a place that i that we was not even using yep. and that's when like reality kicked in and i'm like wait why why are we doing that mm -hmm. like no like you know we need to go back we need to get rid of everything and then we're just gonna you know live in the truck and yeah. Seneca looked at me like, are you sure? You know, because oh, his concern is always, you know, my well-being. It, it, it was for her. I mean, yeah. I've been in the service long enough, been in, you um, know, the Seneca field and deployments. Sleep. Seneca can sleep standing I, I up. I can sleep in desert storms. He can sleep and, up. You know, it, it's whatever. I, it, it's, it's whatever with me. I, I could take it, but, yeah. you know, for her, it's, yeah. I'm like, you sure? I was yeah. concerned about her. Yeah. I know what I can do, but I'm, I'm worried about her, her mental state. Like it, it's it's mental too. It's not just yeah. you. Just yeah. you're you're in the vehicle. It's like can you withstand being there, knowing that you don't have a home, <laughs> <laughs> as far as like a, yeah. a condo, apartment, house, yeah. whatever. You don't have it. You don't have that no more. The truck is your home. Yeah. Now, granted, um, if we wanted to just take a break and go to the hotel, yeah. that, that's what yeah. we agreed to. We said yeah. every once in a while, yeah. we're gonna um get a hotel. Yeah. Maybe an Airbnb. I prefer a hotel. Yeah. Every once in a while, and take a break from the truck. From so the truck. Yeah. Just you know, for both of our sanity. Yeah. Yeah. So. And, yeah. And that, and that's the plan. You know, God forbid if something happens with the truck. You know, and breakdown, knock on wood, and nothing happens. But mm -hmm. you know, if we had another breakdown or anything like that, we mm -hmm. just you know get an Uber, take us to a hotel, take us to Airbnb, whatever we want to do in that area. That's what we did when we was in Nevada and the truck broke down. We had, you know, put it in the shop. It was going to take them like two days to have it ready. We got an Uber, took us to a hotel near the, you know, where the shop was. And we was there at the hotel for like two days. We actually had a good time at the hotel, enjoyed some good food. It was a nice hotel. So it was, you know, you got to make it work because those things are going to happen when yeah. you're living in the truck, you know. Yeah. And that's the plan, you know, we came in into, you know, moving into the truck full time, understanding that, you know, he's, he's the one driving. So, you know, understanding that at any time that you need a break, we'll just park, get, you know, get a nice hotel, get a nice Airbnb, and let's take a week off, take whatever we need to take off for mm -hmm. mental sanity space and, you know, just to, to break the routine of being in the truck every single day. So that, you know, for us, that's the plan and it works. We're really, um, minimal people we don't need you know mm -hmm. a lot to be happy so for us it's fine yeah, we I mean, save us money everybody's situation is different yeah. so i mean i understand you know if you got a family whatever your situation is um yeah. everybody can't do it yeah however um i mean i, I know a story um when i was in school in, in roadmaster in cdl school um i heard a story from one of my trainers of a homeless guy a homeless guy who was living under the, the highway, you know, the um, the overpass. He lived under it. He had a little tent under under um, under the highway, and he used to go to school every day. Go to school every day. He was in trucking school. He was in trucking school every day. Yeah, and eventually, um, he actually worked his way out of being homeless, driving for the company. Um, that he that he worked for and eventually purchased his own home so i can only imagine like what he was what he had to do or, or his mental state yeah you know, I, I feel like if he can do something like that i'm like i can i can handle it mm -hmm. you know I, I could deal with that yeah 
so. And we're not saying go homeless. <laughs> <laughs> go homeless to save money. That's not what we're saying. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just sharing a story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, you know, uh, within the trucking industry, as an owner operator, you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do to cut down expenses if you want to get ahead of the game. Otherwise, you're gonna struggle a lot. You're not gonna be able to save a lot of money if you don't cut down expenses. The less expenses you have, the more money you get to keep every month. And we're all about that life. And you know, for us, we have a, um, adult kids that live in Seattle. They have their own place over there. So, you know, before we decided to um, to get rid of the condo, we, you know, we talked to them. We was actually in Seattle when we, you know, made that decision with them. You know, we talked to them about, hey, you know, Seneca, you know, but if, if at any time she feels like she needs a break from the truck and she needs a home can she come to, you know stay over here you know with you guys for a minute or whatever and i you know i said the same i asked them i was like you guys okay with that if i ever want to just you know get away from it can i come and just hang out with you guys here and you know knowing that i have that you know with my family as well if i ever needed it i'm not saying that that's going to be the case you know because we're fine and we can just get a hotel but if that was my only choice if that was our only choice then you know we got family too so yeah but so far so good like we've been out here for what almost two months now roughly about two about two months yeah yeah since you know since we so we got we came on the road first for a month and then we went back to florida got rid of everything and and came back you know mm -hmm. to moving here full time now yeah. yeah and i don't i don't regret it at all i don't feel like i need to have a, a big space for now I am super content I'm super happy you know I have what I need in here I stay you know I stay busy all day throughout the day doing things on my computer doing things that I do out here and, and it's all about you know keeping your mind entertained and busy with things so that you don't like start going crazy or anything like that you know we get out we walk around the truck stops we you know whenever we're in that area where there's like trails around you know that we get out and walk you know get out get some fresh air do something you know you can't just sit in the truck all day long because it's not you know it's not good for your mental health probably yeah but for us it's so far so good and you know knowing that we're going to be able to save you know even more now that we don't have that payment that rent payment you know it's it's um it feels it feels good yeah. It feels good not having to, you know, pay for something that you're not using. It feels good to save. You do, you do, and we have some super ambitious goals that we want to get to, hopefully sometime next year. So we're gonna, you know, share with you guys more of that as we go. But we have Stay a lot tuned. of, yeah. So we have a lot of, you know, some other goals that we want to accomplish within tracking, within you know the business and all of that. And we're gonna need good chunk of money for all of that. So. The more we can save, the faster we can get to that. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's what we're trying to do. That, that, yep. That's that's the end goal for us. Now that we're gonna settle down somewhere sometime, we, we have a, a free spirit. We're like so, um, we like being out there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, it, it, it don't bother me. <laughs> no, no. I mean, of course we want to, you know, settle down one day somewhere, uh, most likely it's going to be in Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we already have a home in Washington State if we, you know, ever wanted to go back and forth or whatever, but most likely we're going to make, you know, Florida a full-time, you know, residency eventually, probably like two years from now, not anytime soon. Mm -hmm. And um, and we'll take it from there, we'll see, yeah. we'll see where this goes, you know, from here. But yeah, guys, so we just wanted to share, you know, the, the experience for us, you know, so far as living in the truck. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. It has been working out just fine for us. Um, that is for everybody. It's not for everybody. If you're really high maintenance, you know, female, male, whatever, then you're going to struggle. Mm -hmm. You're going to struggle a lot. But, <laughs> 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 yeah. but for us... It's fine, and you know we're we're happy that we did it. So yeah. we shall see. You know, hopefully we can save a lot more now, and then um, and see how we can invest that money into trucking. You know, in the near future. Yep. All right, guys, that's all we wanted to share with you today. 
I'm not telling you go home and get rid of your house and your kids to save money. That's not what I'm saying. And, and don't go homeless. And don't go homeless either. Do, do not go home. Go home. Do not go homeless, homeless. either. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just you know it's just us sharing what we're doing and what works for us. And, That's all. And experiences. Yeah, it's just personal experiences. Yeah. All right, guys. So we will see you on the next one. Bye. I'm gonna put that fire in the video. <laughs> and do this. And wait, like this. Then I say, oh, oh. <laughs> Shut up, Yo, man. Sorry, right. baby. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it. And you can talk on the phone too, you know. So. Alright, forget it. Well, people can tell that we don't work out, we don't have workout that's body what make types. It, that's what makes it funny. I've seen a lift in weights. <laughs> Okay, I gotta start the shit again. <laughs>